There's three weapons, foil, epee, and saber. This is a foil, a fence foil for our team. Compared to epee and saber, it's the lightest weapon, it's the bendiest weapon. It's very fast paced, but when you hit off target, which is anything that's not the torso, it stops, so some people don't like that. You can do some crazy stuff, like bend the weapon, say, around your opponent's body and hit them in the back, however, which you can't do so much in the other two weapons. Uh, there's a lot of pistol grip users, however, there are still some people that use French grip. This is an epee. It's a poking weapon, so it's different than saber in that you use the point to get touches. Um, it has a big bell guard so that it can protect your whole arm because your full body is target area, and the closest thing to hit on your opponent is their arm, so you're trying to protect your arm. It's the first thing. Mm, very nice. Now, why do you think that this weapon is better than the other two, specifically? I like that it's full body target area. There's none of this off target business where you have okay. to stop and reset because that really annoys and me. And so, specifically with this kind of weapon, you want to jab at them? Right? Yep. Okay. Yep. And you have to, it does move slower than Saber, but it takes more strategy, I think, to figure it out. It's not as quick. You have to have a plan. If your attack doesn't work, you have to have a backup and a backup to that and a backup to that if you're going to be successful. Contact, I'm a senior here. I've been with the club for four years, and this is my weapon. It's a Saber. We, uh, we hold the saber up as opposed to a point weapon. Want to try that? It's a cutting weapon. We, uh, our target area is from the waist up, including the head, but not the hands. So it's, it's a much more faster, much more violent weapon than the other two. And it's, it's really, it's probably one of the more exciting ones, but it's much quicker, less, less slow, less calculating. So why do you think this, the saber is the best weapon? Specifically, I, your opinion. My opinion is I like the saber because it's it's the most violent. It's not just it's it's not slow. It's it's just quick and aggressive and fast. All right. Do you want to make this? So basically, I got to sign this before I even want to try it out. Um, I don't know. Maybe maybe I should rethink this. Oh well, let's give it a shot. Let's find a mask. Get the mask going. This is it, right here? Ooh, this, this red. This is sweet. Ready? So, the proper way to hold a foil is so it rests in the groove of your hand. The actual expression in the groove came from fencing, where you had to help hold the weapon like that. So it just lies down, and this stays snapped to your wrist the whole time. The whole time. You gotta the whole stay time. like that. Now, the important thing is that you stand with your feet in an L, and when you want to move forward, you kick your front foot out, and then just come forward. Close. When you want to move backwards, kick your back leg out, and come forward. So forward motion always starts off the front leg, Rear, rearward motion always starts off the back leg. Now, say you want to attack someone. What are you going to do? Just extend your arm out. Don't move your front foot, though. Extend your arm out, and I'll take your back leg and straighten it. And that's called the lunge. Okay, lunge. The important part is that your arm has to precede your lunge. If you so lunge and then extend, no good. Okay, so it's legal if you move first and then lunge. You have to lunge and then lunge. extend your arm and then lunge. Okay, that's fast. So that was my attack, and I can move it on his back shoulder. Right, let's talk in more fence. Let's do more it. Okay. Thanks a lot, man. Not bad. Pretty damn impressive for a beginner. All right. I'm Matt Mikes for SpartanEdge.com. See you next week.